concept of an electronic cigarette was first thought up in 2003 by a Chinese pharmacist who was watching his dad die of emphysema. However, with that being said, electronic cigarettes did not reach American or European markets until 2006. The FDA does not allow them to be coined under the term that it was originally meant to be, which is a smoking sensation aid. To this day, they still don't allow that, while the general populace considers that to be what it actually is. A study published in the February 2011 edition of the American Journal of Preventative Medicine has doctors and scientists stating that electronic cigarettes are a promising tool for helping smokers quit smoking. Our group will be researching the culture of vaping. Vaping is the term for the use of electronic cigarettes. Vaping utilizes propylene glycol and vegetable glycerin, nicotine, and flavor extracts to stimulate the brain into having the same stimulation as smoking. Since the chemical mixture is vaporized instead of being lit on fire, it is referred to as vaping instead of smoking. Our population for the sample will be any adult, persons over the age of 18, who either vape or smoke. To make sure we eliminate potential legal issues, we will be looking at IDs of those who we select to participate in our research through random selection. We plan to recruit our participants by randomly selecting and approaching them while entering or exiting vapor shops. We will ask them if they would like to participate in a short survey. We will conduct a short survey with patrons of the vapor shop. The survey is designed to last three to five minutes and will be audio recorded with the participants' permission. People who participate in the study will not gain any personal benefit for participating. If a person decides to take part in the study, it should be because they decide to volunteer. There will be no penalty and the participant will not lose any benefits or rights if they choose not to volunteer. There are no costs associated with taking part in the survey and there are no risks associated with this survey. And if at any time the participant feels uncomfortable answering any questions, they have the right to stop. All identities will remain confidential and all of the research gathered will be destroyed immediately following the completion of this project. Upon consent, all recordings will be audio only, so the participant's identity will not be disclosed. In our project, we will not be using pseudonyms in our research, but every participant's identity will remain confidential as we only need the participant's race, age, gender, and survey results. To, pre to store our group's data, we will save it on the computer. The computer itself will have a password that must be entered in order to start it. To make sure the data is fully secured, we will also have a separate password that must be entered in order to access the data. Some of the reasons why I quit smoking and switched to vaping were one, cost. Vaping is a lot cheaper than smoking cigarettes. I used to smoke two packs of Lucky Strikes a day. They were $9 a pack. Vaping's roughly 30 cents a day for me. Some of the other reasons I quit were the obvious health risks. Vaping, so far, has no health concerns with it whatsoever, whereas we all know the obvious concerns with cigarettes. The other reason was I really didn't want to quit smoking, but I didn't want to have those health risks, so vaping was great for me. That's it. I hope you guys learned something new about vaping. Have a great day. Thanks for watching our video, and have a wonderful winter break. Bye.